are you? A conspiracy theorist. I don't want a conspiracy theorist at a royal banquet. Wait, oh my God, there's already a romantic relationship with him, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. Before we begin today's episode, I just want to make a quick announcement. I did have several people asking me in the comments to share my save file of the Royal Family, and I know this announcement might actually be a little bit disappointing for some people, but I have posted it and shared it, but I am only making it available to my patrons on Patreon at the moment. However, it is available for the lowest tier patron, which is $1 a month. So if you're interested in downloading my save files, you can go ahead and become a patron on my Patreon, which is in the link in the description below. You also get a perk of joining our Discord group. So we have a fun little Discord group going so you guys can go ahead and join that. The reason I am making it only available for my patrons right now is because I wanted to give another benefit to my patrons because I felt like I didn't have very many benefits for them and they're just so supportive and so great. And I wanted to also give a shout out to two of my patrons, Lily and Ashley, because they have been amazing. Some of you guys have noticed they may have been responding to your comments on my videos and they have kind of been acting as like moderators which has been so great because I have not had time to catch up on the comments just because my channel has kind of just been blowing up the past week So they've been so sweet and answering and replying to people for me when I can't so I'm just so thankful for them And also they have a great and amazing build you guys should check them out I'm putting the link to their gallery IDs in the description below as well So you guys can go ahead and check them out because they have awesome builds and just really cool stuff So you guys should definitely check them out if you were looking for some more builds and other stuff to download too But I actually have like several save files but the first save file on there is actually before Island Living came out so it was before the Royal Family of Solani was created but like not too long before so that is like before Princess May passed away and everything like that too and it actually shows like the entire family tree too because once you get to the second save file and you download that some people from the Royal Family tree are disappeared so that's why it's kind of cool to like be able to download multiple ones of them and I'll kind of keep updating it every month as well because the charge is once a month is the one $1 per month or there's also three dollars per month and five dollars per month for different perks too so you guys can go ahead and choose which tier you guys want but yeah I'll maybe in the future just kind of release like the oldest save file and then gradually as I keep updating it more release the other ones and just keep like the very updated ones for my patrons but for now we're going to do patrons only just for a little bit just because I think that they deserve like really awesome stuff and a little bit more benefits so I just really wanted to give them this additional benefit so that is why but yeah anyway so in this episode of the royal family it is king henry of windenburg's birthday and he's turning into an elder which is a huge deal because we have been with him since he was a child in the first season of the royal family and this is just going to be like oh my gosh this is gonna be so hard for me to see him turn into an elder you guys but i'm actually going to make use instead of a birthday party i'm going to use the royal banquet from the royalty mod that i just did a review of and i posted the other day so you guys can go ahead and see what that's like if you don't have the mod yet so it's going to be a lot of fun we're going to get to see and this is like the first time that that all of the monarchs from all of the kingdoms are meeting and going to be in one place. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. You guys are gonna see a lot of cool things. So it'll be really cool. So if you're looking forward to this episode, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. Okay, so we are immediately going to get started with this. So it is a Wednesday. It is 8 p.m. So I'm going to have a King Henry. I have King Henry and Queen Evangeline just kind of hanging out in the bedroom right here. So we're going to go ahead and plan a social event and then we're going to have him. I'm not going to show you guys like everyone I invite on the guest list just because I don't think it's necessary because you guys are going to see him at the party anyway. But I'll kind of walk you guys through the whole invite thing because it is like it wasn't something that I got to do in my actual royalty mod review. Okay, so royal banquet. So we, oh, did I read this to you guys? So this banquet will go down in history. The entire kingdom will be abuzz with gossip tomorrow. Enjoy the lavish delicacies and shiny sh silverware that come with royalty. Okay, so we're going to invite all of our guests. So it says at least two are required. So, oh, I need to lengthen Queen Evangeline's name. Um, so yeah, so it says 25 max. I actually have a mod that allows you to invite as many sims as you want, but it only works for like 
base game events. It doesn't work for events like mod modded events or mods. Um, so unfortunately I can't, but I think 25 should be fine. That's more than usual. Like usually you can only invite like 15 people. So this should be fine. So I'm just going to skip through this so you guys don't have to see me just inviting everybody. Okay. So we have invi invited 25 people. So we need a banquet bartender. So I don't know. I'll just pick like a random person, I guess. Oh, I can use some of the Sims that you guys had tagged me in. So for those of you who are new, a while ago, I said you guys can use the hashtag mirror ray townies and you guys can like I can add some of your townies to the game so they'll kind of be just like in the background of things if you would like me to just I like ask that they kind of stick with like the royalty like clothing and like in that style so I could definitely add some of them because I did download some and I haven't checked it in a while actually so I should for some reason my gallery it won't let me go online for some reason and I don't know why so hopefully that'll be fixed soon so then you get to have a banquet servant so you can literally choose anybody you want to okay and then you need a royal host so one maximum and one required oh you can only choose one okay well technically it's king henry and then you need a banquet chef you can have three banquet oh could i have more than one servant oh i didn't check that oh you can have more than one banquet servant you can have six you guys that is so cool okay guys so we have hired everybody we need to and invited everyone we need to. So this is going to be at the Windenburg Royal Family Residence. Okay, so I made this like little banquet area, although I put like a dance floor right in the middle here, which is probably not what I was supposed to do. Maybe, oh, oh, I already put a dance floor over there. All right, we'll sell this then. That's kind of useless at this point. So yeah, I, I have a dance floor here. Oh, this is kind of cool. Although I feel like it should be kind of in the center here, but I kind of already like where the other thing is, so I don't really want to move it. So, I, I mean, do we really need a dance floor though? I, it's fine, we'll just keep it for now. Okay, so we have most of our guests here already, which is a lot of fun. So this right here, oh, okay. Um, so this is Princess Leilana. I have to change her name, it says Princess Layla right now, but it's Princess Leilana. We have Marchioness Anna, which is the king's sister. Oh shoot, okay, so the mod that I have also like allows your event to be as long as you want it to be but since this isn't part of that mod it's not going to be as long so that's not good okay shoot so our main goals is to talk to the guests for two hours and have an adult make a toast so that's pretty much all you have to do for this i might actually like have this as the royal banquet and then immediately after have him host a birthday party just to get everyone to stay because i don't want it to be as short because it did i don't know events to me tend to be a little bit short so i loved having the mod that you can have like your events be as long as you want to because you can get stuff done and then when I'm actually filming it feels like we're actually at the event so that's why I really really like that but so I invited most of the monarchs and then some I think most of the heirs too but I just didn't have enough room but for the most part we have everybody here so here we have a king Cayman of Selva Dorada oh guys I love his outfit this is just the coolest thing ever oh my god okay so I have to make sure that they in oh okay well Amir has already introduced herself to him so that's good so yeah we just kind of want to make sure everyone's introducing themselves because this is the first time that everyone is meeting all of the monarchs. They're all meeting each other at once. So this is just so, so cool. I don't think I'm going to be able to get everyone to sit at, like all down at once unless I could call everyone to the meal and that might be my best bet. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, unfortunately. Here we have Prince James of Brindleton Bay. So you guys haven't technically met him yet if you are new to this series. So he is the second son of the royal family of Brindleton Bay. So his brother is the one who is the heir to the throne. He's dating Lord Ian of Willow Creek. I don't think, but Lord Ian's not here, but we will get like more into their story a little bit later because his parents just like gave them their blessing. So we'll kind of see if they, if they get close. Oh no! Oh shoot, one of the kids made a huge mess. Also, I don't think the table is set as much as it should be. I feel like it was missing. Yeah, it's missing just like a few centerpiece, or not centerpieces, place settings. So I'm gonna make sure that the kids set this so that way they get some manners and responsibility traits going. And then here we have the Emperor of Glimmerbrook. So he's here and then the Emperor should also be here. We have King Mahaka of Sulani, he's here. And then, yeah, guys, I'm just I'm just gonna kind of just point out all the Sims because it'll be a lot of fun. So yeah, everyone's just here. So I, I mean, King Mahaka knows the Windenburg royal family. It's mostly the Glimmerbrook royal family and the Silva Dorada royal family that everyone else doesn't 
literally know because this is actually the first time that they're meeting them. So basically what had happened is that they didn't know them because Silva Dorada and Glimmerbrook were kind of staying under the radar just because they had like Sims disappearing and they didn't know why. But if you saw my Realm of Magic series, you saw that we figured out why. And now they're safe and now they're like okay meeting everybody too. Basically King Jared was like you should really meet like the other kingdoms and the other monarchs. They oh, who's naked? Oh, one of the banquet servants is naked. Uh-uh, no way. So they don't get like a uniform or anything like that, which is unfortunate. I kind of just wish they all showed up in like the butler uniforms. That would be super convenient. Who are you? A conspiracy theorist. Uh-uh, okay. You, I don't want a conspiracy theorist at a royal banquet. The birthday cake is actually ready. So this is King Henry's birthday cake. I figured out that if you put candles on the cake right away, no one will eat it, which is great because it took me what like over a hundred episodes of just time like time and time again of just birthday parties and pe like the sims eating the birthday cake before we could do happy birthday or anything like that so that was unfortunate and it was just very frustrating so this right here is king edmund of willow creek so oh i didn't know that amira doesn't know him very well he's actually amira's uncle because he's married to her aunt cora so you need to talk to i didn't know that she didn't know him very well she's super close to his his kids, which are which are her cousins, especially Princess Belle, which is one of which is the, just the girl of the triplets. So there's Louis, Jack, and Belle. I think Louis might actually be the only one here though. So she's super close with them. But I feel like King Edmund, he just kind of is a little bit more reserved. He lost his mother, father, and sister all in the same day. You guys, I do not know if you remember that, but he lost them all in the same day. Oh, and then this is Cora. So this is Queen Cora. So this is Amira's aunt. So you should say hi so this right here is prince dean and if you guys saw the 100th episode of the royal family you guys saw that dean's sister oh guys and this is naya queen naya of oasis spring she's perfect she's one of my favorite sims ever you guys we need to have amira talk to them too so yeah dean if you guys saw that they or that um so his sister was banished i'm trying to do like long story short short his sister was banished because of the queen mother or the dowager queen Lindsay of oasis springs which is naya's mother and that's because that she was one of her ex-husband or her, her former husbands who passed away, mistress is. And then Lindsay found out about them, banished them, or they ran away before Lindsay could find them. And now uh, years later, like, oh my gosh, like how many years later is this? Like, like 20 years later, something like that. Well, now Harmony wants revenge and Harmony found out that her brother, Dean, lives in Sulani and became the prince of Sulani because he married the heir to the throne of Sulani. So now she like asked him for revenge. So Dean did agree to help her. And now they're at this, banquet and I'm pretty sure Queen Lindsay was invited to this too. Also we are almost out of time for the banquet so as soon as it's over I'm actually going to just go ahead and plan a birthday party so I can keep everyone here because I want to I want to keep everyone here for the episode because this is just ending way too short and I wanted to be a birthday party. I'm not ready for King Henry to age up yet but he has to guys. It's, it's his birthday like this is the day he's supposed to age up. So we will get to see Dean and find out like the whole story and stuff in a different episode but I'm trying to see if Queen Lindsay is here or Queen the Queen Mother Queen Dowager Queen Lindsay she I don't know if she's here I didn't see her yet but I'm pretty sure she was invited so we'll get to see if they run into each other and what Dean does exactly oh okay and there there's Queen Lokalani of Sulani wait Amira doesn't know her either. I thought she did. Amira's really close with her daughter, Leilana. All right, Henry, this is technically your birthday party. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so now it says Royal Banquet complete, complete. So I didn't get to actually do the toast. So that was just the last goal I had to do. So I'll, I'll know to do that another time. But, oh, ending early. Oh, I thought it was just ending. Okay, well, now I'm going to have King Henry plan a birthday party so everyone stays and then we can continue with technically it will be still our royal banquet. Okay, so I have now actually planned a birthday party, although the kids are supposed to go to school in an hour, so that's not good. Oh my gosh, it's already 7 a.m. They've been up like all night, you guys. Okay, so we have King Henry here. Oh, okay, you changed outfits. So yeah, now everyone's changing into their party outfits. Okay, so King Henry is talking to Queen Zamora. Oh, Oh, okay. Well, they're getting along just great. So he has introduced himself to 
Queen Zamora, you know what? I actually should do this whole blowing out the candles thing really, really soon. Yeah, why don't we have him blow out the candles? Because then we can actually, I think that might end up having more people gather around. Although I'm not ready for King Henry to age up, you guys, into an elder. Oh my god, the king is starting to an elder. I think pretty soon he's gonna have to start training Amira and like giving her a, oh, this is on pause. I'm like, why isn't he going? It's because it's on pause. Um, I'm going to have to have him start training Amira a little bit more because like she's learned a lot, but she hasn't really been prepared to be the queen of Windenburg like at all most of her life. She was not the heir to the throne originally. So that's why. Oh my gosh, guys, King Henry already aged up. He aged up now. Oh gosh, he got so many gifts too. Of course, he's the king. Lots of people love him. Oh my gosh, you guys. King Henry is an elder now. This is so crazy to me because he was like, I'm gonna call everyone to the meal because he started out as a child. We've been following him since he was a child, you guys. I and mean, we've been following most of the Sims since they're a child, but we've been paying attention most the royal family of Winnenberg. Okay, so this is Jabari right here. So I need to have them, oh, okay. Um, let's just have everyone take a vacation day. I need to have the royal family introduce themselves to him and the royal family of Salvadorada. Okay, so King Henry is talking to Prince Jabari of Salvadorada. So I'm going to have Amira introduce herself to him too. And then, oh gosh, I need to change your name, Queen of Angeline. You have a very shortened name right now. Okay, so Amira is now meeting Jabari for the first time, or I guess they're also talking to her father, Henry, over there. So Amira right now, so if you guys saw the last season of The Royal Family, you know that Amira is in a relationship, or not really an official relationship, but she has a little fling with Makai of Sulani, who is actually related to the royal family of Sulani, so he's one of the more respected families there. So they're kind of having a fling because her and Makai have just this huge history, and Makai's mother doesn't like her, and Makai is now engaged and in an arranged marriage that he really wants to get out of. Of, but he doesn't know how so it's just like a whole big thing right now and Amira is kind of just like struggling because like she doesn't understand why Makai can't like tell the girl that he doesn't want to marry her and mostly it's just because like his mother is just like so crazy you guys she's so mean she's so just like like she would just throw a fit and make his life miserable if he did not marry this girl and also this girl Hannah has had a huge crush on him since they were kids and he doesn't want to break her heart but obviously he would like break Amira's heart too so it's just kind of a hard situation this right here is Princess Belle or Princess Isabel of or of Willow Creek but technically now she is what are they are they I think they're the Earl and Countess or the Baron, I totally forgot. But they are now a noble family of Brindleton Bay and I haven't changed their title yet. So her husband is, or was, Prince Francisco of Oasis Springs, but now like they're noble titles and they have wine girl. So they are living in Brindleton Bay. So yeah, she's here and I love her dress. She's so cute. She's just like the sweetest girl ever. She is Amira and all of their like Charles, Bellatrix and Diana, their cousin. Oh my gosh, you guys, Amira and Jabari, their relationship has gone up so much. They're like best friends all of a sudden. I have absolutely no idea how that happened. With Amira and Makai, I feel like Amira's dad, Henry, or King Henry, he asked Amira, like, do you want to invite Makai? And because I, I think he like kind of knows something's going on or he knows, he, I think he knows that if they're friends. I don't think Amira has told him that like they're kind of seeing each other just because like Amira's father would not be happy if Amira was in a relationship with someone who was engaged. So I, I don't think that, but I feel like Makai is over a lot and I feel like Henry might just think that they're friends, but I feel like he also might think something's up, but he's also very supportive of his daughter. So I also feel like maybe he just wants her to be happy. I don't know guys, it's really hard to tell with King Henry. He's kind of been through a lot. He was just so influenced by his parents and that's why the the uh, heir to the throne was originally like the first male, like whether it was a boy or a girl or no, it was not the oldest child. It was just like the first, the oldest male was originally the heir to the throne, which is why her younger brother Kellen was originally the heir to the throne. So that's originally why I did it. Cause I saw someone made a comment about that. So it does change. I mean, obviously if you guys have seen this far, it does change, but yeah. Anyway, so Amira's dad loves her a lot. He, she's been through a lot. I, I mean, honestly, I said that you guys didn't have to watch the first season to be able to like follow this second season, but I highly recommend watching the first season. I'm trying to explain as much as I can, but there's just so, oh, they're cloud gazing together. Well, that's super cute, you guys. I love Amira's outfit too. She looks so good right now. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Okay. So people were saying, I had someone comment that Amir and Jabari would make a really cute couple because like they both have broken hearts and like Jabari's recovering. I feel like Jabari is just, I'm realizing I was like so busy talking. I'm realizing how like they just became best friends. Like they all of a sudden just clicked really well. I feel like Jabari just might be like super smitten with her and just like think she's really beautiful and like, wow, this is someone I can like talk to like really easily. But Amira of course is still kind of just in this whole thing with Makai. So I don't think she's thinking the same thing, but I feel like she's kind of like, like thinking like, oh, this guy could be like a great friend. There's just so much going on with her right now, you guys. She's been through so, so much. Wait, oh my God, there's already a romantic relationship with him, you guys. <gasps> no. Oh my God, there's already a romantic relationship. That was so fast. They became best friends so fast. And then they already have a small little romantic relationship. I, oh, guys, that was so fast. They would honestly be very cute together. I think Amira has to get over this whole thing with Makai. Or like, should she end up with Makai? Oh my gosh, guys, this is gonna be a huge thing. I feel like Makai does like her a lot, but he's just like doing so much stuff, but like Amira's already having second thoughts. So I feel like in the next episode, she's going to have to talk to Makai about this. Yeah, we'll just have to kind of see how it goes with them. Who is that? Oh, that's her aunt, Queen Cora. Uh, so yeah, we'll just kind of have to see how this goes and how it kind of pans out with Amira and Jabari and Makai. <gasps> That would be interesting, you guys. Although, Amira's gotta focus on her, her, like, royal studies soon. I don't know if that's what you call it, but, like, she needs to focus on becoming the ruler of Windenburg. So she doesn't need to deal with all these people. But then again, I also really want her, like, King Henry does not have any grandchildren yet, you guys. He just turned into an elder, too. He is probably gonna be wanting grandchildren pretty soon. He just wants his daughter to be happy. He loves Amira. They're super close. He loves her a lot. Oh, and then there's Princess Araminta, too. I forgot, I did not have uh, Prince Charles or anyone that really introduced themselves to them. Okay, well, I did not see Queen Lindsay here. At least I don't think I did. Did I miss her? Oh, it looks like, oh, oh, for uh, Jow, and we have Queen Logalani. They're meeting each other for the first time, you guys. This is great. This is a very successful, like, event, or I guess banquet plus birthday party. Oh, it looks like Bellatrix is introducing herself to Araminta, you guys, so they're all meeting. This is a lot of fun. I'm so excited to get to know all the other royal families. Oh, and then we have Princess Anya here too, you guys. They need to meet her. They, Araminta and Anya are just so different. This should be really interesting. We'll see how this turns out. Oh, and then there's Empress Maitland. I was wondering where she went. Oh, yeah, we have to make sure that everyone introduces themselves to her too. Oh, okay, King Henry, good. He already knows her. Oh, guys, and it looks like Kellen is back. I don't know where his wife Megan is at the moment, but Kellen and Megan were traveling. Ke Kellen is King Henry's son, so that's Amira's brother, and, and they're half-brothers, so yeah, so there it looks like they're back, so we'll get to see them again soon, too. And then also, this is Prince Johan, so there was a long history with him and Amira, you guys. It's kind of a forced history, but there is Johan, and he's dating Sidira, who was also at this party who I saw, which is actually Amira's cousin, so that's a little bit weird, but it's just the way kind of things were working. They're doing pretty well. I think they're probably going to get engaged pretty soon, so We'll get to have a royal wedding of Brindleton Bay pretty soon, so that'll be a lot of fun. And then Charles and Araminta are stargazing, you guys. I think Araminta, I think they're going to be pretty strict about who she marries, and it's probably going to be an arranged marriage for Araminta. However, the royal family of Salvadorada, although I didn't see the princess of Salvadorada, the little princess, so they didn't get to meet him yet, but hopefully we'll get to meet them soon, because it looks like they didn't show up to the party. But yeah, the Salvadorada royal family is not as strict on arranged marriages. They just want them, obviously, to be like a good person and make their child happy and like have a good reputation. The royal family of Glimmerbrook feel like is going to be very strict on arranged marriages. I don't think Amira would make her child be like in arranged marriage. I don't think Amira would be like that because of just what she's been through. So it's kind of differing. Times are changing, which is really, really nice. It's getting a lot more modern contemporary. Okay. Well, no one really sat down at this royal banquet, which is kind of disappointing. I did not make this as nice. I kind of like took this layout and, and took it from, if you guys know Bats from Westeros, the custom content creator of like the gorgeous crowns that you guys can find in my royal custom content video. He made all of these amazing crowns and we're in the same Discord group together and he like posted this picture of this banquet and it was gorgeous and it looks nothing like mine. Mine looks awful compared to his. So I kind of like try to do the little U-shape setup that they did, but theirs was like 
red theme, but since the royal family of Wittenberg, their royal colors are purple and like kind of pink too. So I kind of wanted to stick with that, but the colors don't look as good. And every time you pick a purple chair, it turns out dark and not like white. I wish they would do like purple and white together, not just like purple and dark wood together for the furniture. But anyway, it looks like, yeah, we didn't really have as much of a banquet as I would like to, but we're gonna to re like revert this back to the throne room. It's kind of cool just to like actually have events in here for like a grand royal banquet like this. If we were just having like a family dinner, they'd probably all just sit like right here. But it is like the next day already. It's been 24 hours of this just partying at the royal family of Windenburg's palace. So we should probably end this video here, you guys. But we had a lot of cool things happen. You guys got to like meet everyone and see like all the monarchs. They all got to meet each other, which is really cool. So we'll get to pay attention to them a little bit more in the other episodes. We saw that Amira and Jabari have a little bit of a romantic relationship. So we're gonna have to go see what happens with them. I know I haven't been able to respond to comments as much as before, but it's because guys, I just hit 5,000 subscribers today like i just got like 2003 days so it's been crazy so thank you guys thank you to all my new subscribers i'm so thankful and i'm so so happy oh god i thought i would get a little bit emotional i was trying not to i'm so happy and i'm so thankful so thank you guys so much for subscribing i'm going to end this video here but again just thank you so much i just i love doing these videos and like doing these stories and thank you guys so much for like all your suggestions and for being like nice when you make suggestions too i make mistakes i totally do i'm totally open if you want to correct me again if you want to check out my save file and download that you can go ahead and click that link to my patreon in the description below again it's only one dollar per month you can cancel it anytime you want to but you can join our discord group and i think the link doesn't always work so i'll make sure that i post like a link very very soon so you guys can join because we just have a lot of fun in our discord chat so it's a lot of fun so if you enjoyed this video give this video a big thumbs up hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and i will see you guys in the next video bye